Let's jump to the wall here, and today I'm pleased to be able to finally explain to you guys how the unlimited winds of magic exploit works in Total War Warhammer 3. You guys will have access to this game very soon and there's not enough time for CA to run a like a gameplay related patch. They're going to be focusing way more on stability issues. They're going to be overwhelmed with that kind of stuff. So this is just not going to be on their priority to do list to fix. This is why I didn't want to explain it during early access while they have, were a little bit calmer about you know tweaking these sort of things. You guys will have access to it, but I don't expect that this exploit will be around forever. Okay, so I'm going to explain this fairly slowly and in detail so you know exactly how it works because I've got this down to a T. I know exactly what's going wrong. I know the mathematical equation where this is going wrong, and the funny thing is with this, it is the easiest bug to fix ever because you only need to change one number, and this is completely removed from the game. So... We're going to do this with Kairos Fate Weaver, but it's not limited to Kairos, okay? So in order to to do this, there's the first thing that you need is something similar to Life Leeching. So a Death Wizard would be good. This is why Nurgle is able to do this, as long as you've got a Death Wizard. Uh, Cathay is able to do it because they get an item called the Jade Amulet. Now, the thing is, you can go through an entire campaign and never get one of them. It's a green item. It essentially has the exact same effect as uh, Life Leeching. So, the main thing here that we want is some ability that provides us with reserves per second. It doesn't matter how much reserves per second. In fact, the lower amount, the better. I know that sounds weird, but that's what we need. Now, the second thing that you need is at least one Arcane Conduit. If you don't have any Arcane Conduits, you will not see an effect on this. Now, the more Arcane Conduits that you have, it amplifies this effect. Now, we're going to jump into this battle here, and I'm going to explain down to a T exactly how to have unlimited Winds of Magic. Now, there is uh, a good sizable garrison in here, and in this battle, I will only use Kairos Fate Weaver, and I will only use spell casting. and at the end of this battle, I will have a hundred Winds of Magic in my, in my pool. Okay, that is a guarantee, because of this. So let's get into the battle, and I'll explain exactly what, what's going on here. Now, in this army here, I, it's probably overkill. Like, it's kind of, I've pushed it to an absolute, not, it can go further, but it's to the point where Kairos has, will have so much Winds of Magic that I can't cast fast enough to, um, to actually deplete him. He'll probably never drop below 50, even if I'm constantly cast casting. Okay, so here's what we do. Take all these units, just bring them back over here. Now, the life leeching ability, if we just have a quick look at it, what it does is it provides 0.1 winds of magic duration while ca um, casting 25 seconds. Now that means it should be providing us with about 2 or 3 winds of magic for a cast. Now, Kairos doesn't have any spells that cost 2 winds of magic, right? His cheapest spells are Pink Fire of Sinch at 4 winds of magic, or Blue Fire of Sinch at 3 winds of magic, right? So even if I cast these spells constantly, theoretically, I should still be depleting Winds of Magic, right? And in essence, that is exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to start the battle and start explaining things. Now, we've got 20 in there, so with loads of reserves. Our recharge rate is ridiculous here because we've got loads of Arcane Conduits, and I've also got this ability here called the Icon of Sorcery, uh, which is a banner. I only ever managed to get this once. But yeah, it provides essentially a double arcane conduit for every spell caster that's in that area. That's what's providing us with all of that plus 80% there. But this is a really rare item, and you don't need it to do this. Also, Iridescent Horrors have an ability. I didn't get it in this campaign because I didn't need it. That provides them with an additional arcane conduit. So you can get that. So what we're going to do here, firstly, is just eat up our reserves and put them into our pool. Because right now, I actually don't have unlimited wins. We have to do something to sort of trigger it. So yeah, in order for this to work, it's really important that your recharge rate be at least one per five seconds. If it's any higher than that, then you're really not going to see much benefit from doing this. 
But of course, the faster you recharge, the more you'll get out of it. Okay, so we have 100 Winds of Magic in our available pool with 20 reserves. Now, if I cast this spell here, doesn't matter how many towers I build. Uh, if I cast this spell here, right, four Winds of Magic, I should be refunded with either two or three Winds of Magic, right? Let's see. So I used up four. Power Reserve goes down. And then while Life Leeching is active, we should see our Power Reserve go up. Yep, pretty slowly. Are we going to get more than what we paid for? No. So we actually lost two Winds of Magic with that. So how do we do the Unlimited Winds of Magic then? Well, in order for this to work, there is a third condition that needs to be met. And that is you actually need to completely run out of power reserve. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to deplete my Winds of Magic completely. Hang on, let me overcast it. So just overcasted a couple of spells there. That'll completely deplete my Winds of Magic in terms of the reserves. So just waiting for that to expire. Okay, so if we have a look here, I've actually only got 94 power reserves with... Sorry, I've got 94 power with zero reserves. Uh-oh, I've actually been spending Winds of Magic. What do I do now to get the Unlimited Winds of Magic? Okay, here's how it works, guys. Get ready. These are the crux of it. It comes down to a fundamental mathematical breakdown, right? Um, you cannot have negative Winds of Magic reserves in this game, where you could have in, in Total War Warhammer 2. Now, you can regenerate a, a point of Winds of Magic if you have 0 0.1 Winds of Magic in your power reserve, right? So, in order to start triggering the the, uh, the Winds of Magic, uh, Unlimited Winds of Magic, you actually need to have 0 or 0 0.1 Winds. So, if you have 0 0.1 Winds of Magic, you will start regenerating Winds. And the way to do this quickly is to turn what is in your uh, power reserve as quickly as possible into an actual power. And that's why you need more Arcane Conduits. So, if you have one every five seconds, what ends up happening is that you'll keep triggering the 0 0.1 per second for five seconds, and then that 0 0.5 will be turned into a full point. But if, like me, you've got it down to one in less than a second, by the time there is 0 0.1 power reserve in your Winds of Magic reserves, that'll just be like, right, put it back in the pool, and you'll be straight away given a Winds of Magic point. And I'm going to showcase that by casting now a cheap ass spell. I'm going to go back up to 100 because even though this regenerates at 1 winds of ma 0 0.1 winds of magic every second, my winds of magic is being put into my pool pretty much straight away. And just like that, we can now cast as much as we want. And now Kairos is going to just gleefully go in there and they can't do anything about it. Because as long as, basically, as long as we don't, no, no, it doesn't matter what we cast, because anytime we cast something, because we're going to get back at least 25 wins of magic, um, I basically can't run out. I just can't run out, because there's, there's no, I can just, even if I'm low on wins of magic, I just cast a cheap spell. So, kiss your garrison goodbye. All we have to do is make sure that we don't get killed, but thanks to Barrier... That shouldn't be a problem. I'm going to cast all the expensive spells. Doesn't matter if I miss. And because he's got the Staff of Tomorrow, he can just keep on casting. And I will never, ever run out of Winds of Magic. Also, we've got 200% um, intensity as well. So all of our spells are double strength. Ah, 
Would you just cast a dead spell? I don't know why he's not. Is he gonna do it? Stepping out on this one. There we go. So, you see that? We were just at 100 there. We cannot run out of Winds of Magic. And this is one of the reasons why I haven't covered a Kairos campaign yet, because I really... You can get this really early on with Kairos. Really, really early on. Every time we cast as well, we re we lose uh, 10 seconds off our cooldowns. Because, yeah, basically, you just can't resist doing this. Because it's so easy to trigger once you understand exactly how it works. I don't need to use this. Don't need it. I'll just use this magic. I can't run out. Almost running out of barrel, but don't forget he's also got life, uh, what's it called, life bloom, so we can heal. Now the intensity, spell intensity that you have does not affect life leeching or the passives, it only affects the actual spell that you have in your, in your pool there. Let's snap there, Lord. So yeah, Kairos currently has uh, 1900 barrier. You can get that higher by like defeating Throt, and there's an item that you can get. Um, that'll. Um, I've also got the Forbidden Rod, which we totally don't need. Gives him some spell resistance, though. So you know, preventing you from taking a lot of damage from miscasts. Still a fair few of them here. These guys here have almost run out of ammunition, so once they run out of ammunition, their bounce power is basically spent. Okay, we've actually started to take some damage now. I need to uh, get Kairos out of there. I actually don't have any ward save items on him. I should have put some on. Just need to recover some barrier. What I can do in the meantime is just cast some spells just to get the uh, the life bloom up because the amount of barry that we have is relative to our maximum health. Okay, cool, that's it. Just delete that unit. And you see, we haven't even come close to running out of wins. Taking that much damage at the moment, so save that for a bit. Alright, that guy needs to go down because he's unbreakable. We can't win the battle without destroying that.
Okay, good overcaster, but since it'd be just be quicker if I if I single cast it constantly. So yeah, Kairos is able to completely solo any battle by himself as long as these guys here remain hidden and out of the way. And yeah, you're able to do this really early on. It's just that it gets more powerful the more heroes you put into it, the more arcane conduits you get in. And of course the more um, mastery of the elemental winds you get. Okay, that one's just about gone. Yeah, each one of those casts is doing about 900 damage. And you can see here, we're at 100. But here's the thing, we can't get above zero reserves because every time we go up back up to one reserves, it just doesn't work anymore. It only works when you're at zero. So yeah, you can't just sit at the back of a battle doing this and getting like a thousand wins reserves. It only works when you're at absolute zero. Just fly above their heads for a bit so that we can regenerate our barrier. Because there's a good amount of barrier with Kairos. And yeah, like I said, I have been able to get it higher, just not in this particular campaign. Alright, there are still 800 of them left. There should be the army losses fairly soon. Don't need to worry about them. It's not worth going after. And I don't want to send Kairos into melee. Also, this spell here, totally bugged. Don't get it. <laughs> it doesn't work. So you might think you could use Glean Magic to try to trigger it. It doesn't work. Same thing with Arcane Surge. It doesn't work. <laughs> it just, the spell just doesn't... It doesn't give you reserves back. There are a bunch of spells that are just totally bugged. Some things work, some things don't. But yeah, notable examples is Death Magic works, um, the Jade Amulet for Cathay works, the Chromatic Tome works, Forbidden Rod works. But the thing is with Forbidden Rod, you can only do it three times. And the fact that it provides you with 0.3 wins of magic per second, as opposed to 0.1, there we go, actually doesn't make any difference, because it doesn't matter if it's 0.000001 wins of magic reserves, because you can turn, basically as... This is the equation. As long as you have more than zero reserves, you can recharge your Winds of Magic. It doesn't matter if your reserves are, you know, like, infinitesimally 0 0.1 or 0 0.9. You can turn any amount under one, as long as it's more than zero, into one Winds of Magic. And it's just a matter of how fast you can do it. And as we can see here, we ended the battle with 100 Winds of Magic, full health, you got 1,000 kills, and one reserve remaining. I was never, ever going to run out. So yeah, Nurgle can do this because he's got access to death with magic. Um, Slanesh could theoretically do it, but he needs to get an item like the Chromatic Tome, um, which I've never gotten as Slanesh. Um, that being said, I've gotten three of them in one campaign as Corn once, and uh, Cathay can do it because they have the... Um, um, the Jade Amulet. Ogres can kind of do it because their Ar Arcane Conduit does provide Winds of Magic Reserves, but you have to stay in melee in order to do it, so they kind of can, kind of can't get Unlimited Winds of Magic. It's a bit off for them. And I haven't found anything within Kislev that's able to do it. Not yet, anyway. Anyway, that's the Unlimited Winds of Magic exploit. I hope you guys have some fun with it. And that being said, if you don't want to utilize it, you absolutely don't have to. The way to totally abuse this is, of course, to get something that provides Winds of Magic, such as Life Leeching is the best one for it, and uh, and then just 
pack in as many arcane conduits into your army as possible if you want to do that. Um, you only need one arcane conduit for it to uh, give a return on investment. So if you've got death magic, right, you use Aspect of the Dread Knight to cast to get the Winds of Magic back because that only costs three Winds of Magic. So if you've got your Winds of Magic down to one every, say, four seconds, you'll, you'll get about six back. So you spend three, get six. Not a great return on investment, which is why it's... Um, uh, which is why you want to be getting as many arcane conduits so you can cast three winds of magic and get 25 winds of magic back, which is what Kairos was doing. And I just didn't need to stop casting. Anyway, that's the end of this one here. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Appreciate you, and I'll see you in tonight's live stream. Later, fuckers. Bye.